Good morning, everyone. For those of you that I'm just meeting for the first time, I wanted to introduce myself. I'm dietitian Ashley Koff, and I am the CEO and founder of the Better Nutrition Program. I'm really excited to have you here. And to talk to you about, uh, today we're going to talk about a set of the Better Nutrition tools um, that are the packages um, of different tools. Uh, we've been getting a lot of questions about these, whether you are someone who owns our shop of tools, I want to address that part and welcome you here. So, um, and then also, uh, if you are interested in our package of tools or if you have purchased a package of tools, I wanted to talk about those as well. And before I do that, I just wanted to make sure that I explain that if you are watching this live, please feel free to uh, pop in and uh, tell me where you're joining from or mention your name, um, because sometimes I don't see it uh, in the comments. I just see that there is someone there or that they're stating something. So hi, um, thank you. And uh, likewise, if you're watching at a time that's better for you, awesome. And um, you can always drop a question in here in the Facebook group and I will uh, respond to it. If you're watching this through or a YouTube link, maybe it's come to you via an email, etc. Um, feel free to just respond or um, ask that question in YouTube and we will also uh, answer it there. So today we're going to talk about packages of better nutrition tools. And the reason that um, I created these packages is I kept getting questions from people early on about how do I use the different tools with different clients. And what I realized is that, um, you know, on our side of things as practitioners, we think about things a little bit differently. Hey, Michelle, awesome to see you. Um, we think about things differently than our clients do. But when it comes to marketing, we also have to think about things. Um, gosh, we got a lot of things to think about, right? We have to think about client marketing, but then we also have to think about referral marketing. And so what we want to be thinking about is what would help somebody um, refer a client to us, because that's a total win in our business. So over the month, the course of the month of February, I'm going to dive into some of my absolute favorite marketing tips. But as we talk about, and as I go through the packages today, I want to explain because they are an incredible marketing tool for you. Again, whether you have our shop of tools and you're using them in this capacity or whether you um, are looking to purchase a package uh, and use them that way. So, but I just wanna back up and for anyone who has never seen of or heard or doesn't even know what I'm talking about when I talk about a tool, let me just really quickly remind you that whether it's something like the Better Nutrition Plan, which um, is a about a 25 page tool and it takes you through resetting a client's mindset from a failure mindset to a success mindset. Uh, it's a ready-made course that you can run. Um, it has, it's one that accompanies and you'll see it in a lot of the different packages in the digital form because it provides a couple of pages that go through very specifically the um, portion sizes, what foods are in what categories, and also how to um, assess somebody's uh, better nutrition. So to teach them about better nutrition and how to assess it. So um, I actually have in this provider group a video. So if you go to the video section of the, the um, Facebook group, you will see where I went in and I went through all, how to use that in entirety. Um, but additional tools that we have as we go through, and I'll show you these in a moment, are um, we have over 25 uh, assessments that are called evaluations. Sometimes they're called quizzes. And that's a really important marketing distinction. You and I, as practitioners, will talk about these as evaluations because we know that we're evaluating somebody's current nutrition um, or we're assessing their current nutrition. And our evaluations are the only tools. I created them because they did not exist. I promise you, if they existed somewhere else, I'd just be either promoting those or I'd be using those and I'd be on to doing something else in the field of nutrition, right? But I knew that we needed these um, because we need something in this day and age to assess total nutrition, what goes in and on the body most often, and also how um, we're take, we want to assess that within the context of somebody's health. So our evaluations, our quizzes are um, the uh, cornerstone of the Better Nutrition Program. But we also have menus and we also have guides um, and we also have, as I said, the Better Nutrition Plan and we have the Better Nutrition Journal. So we're gonna go through um, all of those different pieces um, and I thought that I would turn my screen over to show you um, where we can find all of this on uh, our website. But first, let me pause for a second. Does anyone have any immediate questions or something that they need me to answer live today? Go ahead and pop in with that. Otherwise, I will, and I'll actually do it as I turn to here. Now, you won't see me, but I can still see you and see the questions um, coming in. So uh, please feel free to, to stop me if you have any questions as we go through this. Okay. 
um, and I need to turn off my uh, notifications because not everybody needs to see who's trying to get in touch with me, right? There we go. Okay, great. Um, okay, so here we go. Um, we are, uh, this is the Better Nutrition Program um, website, and you'll see we have practitioners and patient resources. So on the patient resources side, you would actually just go to the place where all of our different tools exist, and you would see that there is a packages section. Now, if your patient comes over here, they may be looking at the different tools um, and looking for different things, or you might be directing them over here. Now, one of the reasons I'm bringing to the patient side is we also have our our practitioner network. When you purchase a package of tools or if you purchase a shop of tools, um, if you're using our tools in your practice, you have the ability to apply to be part of our practitioner, our provider network. And you'll see we've got tons of different practitioners in here. Um, we have fun things, you know, we highlight who you are. We've got some tags uh, that we request you provide us um, to tell us how you might want to be searched for. We share some information about you and then we uh, link to you. So this is also a link to your website site, which is an awesome marketing tool. You want to get, if you're trying to drive traffic to your website, you want to have other websites that are driving traffic to your website. Um, and so this is one way to uh, have that happen. And we do that for anyone who is a part of our provider network. Um, some of the things like Susan, I will just show you here, some of the things like Susan, we actually, um, I couldn't do a segment uh, in DC and the ABC producer asked me if I knew of anyone. I said, oh my gosh, I was just connecting with Susan. Susan, I asked her if she ever goes up to DC and now she's going there regularly. So uh, something like that might come about. Um, we also love to introduce you to um, for speaking opportunities um, across the country that come up and also most importantly, uh, practitioners we send. So for example, I had a cardiologist um, in California who was interested in working with a couple of health coaches and a dietitian virtually as he transitions his business to a virtual practice. And I referred him to our network, to a couple of the different practitioners in our network. Um, and then also, of course, any patient traffic that comes to our site, they come here uh, to meet you. So that's a great bonus and a marketing bonus as part of um, being a part of purchasing either our shop of tools or the packages. Now, with the shop of tools, you actually get everything. So um, I wanna go through that because there are questions that people have asked, like if I buy the shop of tools, do I also get these packages because I don't see them in, in my downloads? Well, you actually do. You just don't see the icons, but you get all of the tools. And I'll explain that in a moment uh, in better detail. But when you purchase the, pack, the shop of tools, you get all of this. So you get 100 different tools um, that have been developed and vetted, not just by me, um, but by a bunch of different practitioners. And remember, we are sharing evidence in here. So these are evidence-based. Um, we are also relying on you to, uh, you know, these are just assessment tools. So we're not telling anyone what they should be doing. We're sharing information that you and your um, clients, uh, your patients should be having conversations about and making it easier for you to have those conversations. Uh, we also have a set of, of the evaluations that are called practitioner evaluations. The reason I'm pointing this out now is that those are not available when you purchase a package. So if you are a shop of tool owner, you have the practitioner evaluations and you know that these are the ones that um, have an editable note section for you to easily share content and, and uh, communicate with your uh, with your individual clients and also for referral generation. Um, and they also remove the recommendations. So that means that the, um, the patient version or the general version is more like an answer key because it provides all of our information, but what you use with your patients is the practitioner version. You get bonus tools, you get a training session with me, you get all of these tools which are ready-made lead magnets. They're not just assessment tools, they're ready-made lead magnets. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. I promise I'll get to the marketing component. You also get, and this is really exciting, this is something that we added that's massive, massive value uh, for anyone joining us in 2020. You get participation in any of the monthly programs that I'm running. So for example, starting on uh, February 19th, I will be running the Be Heart Healthy program. We're currently in the Sugar Shakedown. And I'm going to show you that um, one way to participate in the Be Heart Healthy program is to buy the package of tools. Uh, and I will show you that in a moment. But if you are someone who owns the shop of tools, you actually get access to every single one of our programs. That means every month, there is a program that you can go through, that you then own, that you can then customize, that you get the practitioner slides for, take my slides, remove 
remove my name, remove my logo, uh, make them yours and run these programs. I want you guys running these programs with our tools because that's how we, we make programs that create better outcomes because they include the assessment component. Uh, and you'll also get a behind the scenes coaching session with me, the ability to invite five clients or colleagues, which is a great referral opportunity, um, as well as uh, prospective clients. You also get a fully stocked uh, The Better Nutrition Program supplement store. You get all of our updates and you can also purchase the tools. So I just wanted to differentiate for anyone who already owns the shop of tools, you own all of the packages packages I'm about to show you. You own all of the tools that are within the packages. Yes, Marla, great point. Um, and I apologize, this came up a couple of times. January's hit me kind of hard and then I went on vacation, uh, but we are sending um, the, the schedule of the group classes out uh, in the Shop of Tools owner email. We will be sending it out uh, not this week, but next week. And we will also be posting it here in the provider group. So uh, I am working on that ASAP. Thank you. Um, good reminder. All right, so let's dive into the packages and why I think these are just such awesome tool ways to use the tools. So a reminder, each of these individual packages contains a combination of some of the tools that we have here. So they might have some of the, well, they're going to have some of the evaluations. I'm going through really quickly, right? They'll have some of the evaluations. They'll have some of the guides. They'll have some of the menus, um, which again, remember when we'll, we'll dive deeper into our menus later in the month, um, are great tools to be able to help show and go through with someone to pick what they're actually going to do and how to upgrade their nutrition. They're not meal plans. Um, and then it, they all include as bonuses, the digital versions of the nutrition plan and of the, um, uh, excuse me, of the nutrition plan and of the um, uh, journal. So you can use those for tracking. So we have right now 16, we have 18 different packages. The DIY package is exactly what it says. It's a do it yourself. So if you were to get the DIY package, you could turn around and say, you know what? And this actually just happened with someone. They said, I'm working on kidney health and I want to um, put together a package of tools that I could use for a program. And what she was actually going to do um, as we were interacting, I realized was she was going to be buying the, the individual tools. And I suggested to her, why don't you get that? Why don't you create a do it yourself package? Because the price point is a lot sweeter here. Um, what you get to when you're creating your own package, you pick three evaluations, you pick two menus, you pick two guides, and you also get the bonus of the journal and the plan. So if you are interested in something super targeted, like maybe you want to um, focus on, as I was just saying, like kidney health, and you want put, uh, to evaluate potassium, and you want to evaluate sodium, and you want to evaluate protein, and then you want to move into the menu area, maybe you, you're looking at gluten-free, or maybe you're looking at, um, you want to look at potassium and help them understand the food choices um, that they're making uh, and use that menu there. And then you want to pick two of the guides. Maybe you want to talk about um, better liquid nutrition, or maybe you want to focus on Maybe organic is something that you want to talk about, or maybe CBD is a factor, and you would add those guides. So this is how you create your own package of tools. Now remember, if you are a shop of tool owner, you have all of these already. So you don't need to create a do-it-yourself, and you, and you don't need to purchase that part. Okay, so if we come back to the packages, we, have, we essentially have 17 of them that are, um, I'm going to go to the main packages page. It's just easier to see it that way. We have 17 of them that are in groupings of tools that I thought that these are the way that I would work with an individual client or that the tools that I would find useful in developing a program on this topic or the tools that I would find useful for putting together a session if I was doing, um, and I actually have done a lot of these, corporate wellness, if I was doing a one day session, um, these are the tools that I would use. So there are a lot of different ways to use these different packages. Again, when you purchase these packages, you get um, a set of tools, and I'm gonna dive into those. You do not get the practitioner versions though. The practitioner versions of the evaluations only come in conjunction with, um, getting the shop of tools. So before I dive into the heart health package, which is what we're going to be using in the Be Heart Healthy program coming up, I thought that I would walk through, for example, right now we're doing the, um, sh the sugar shakedown. And so I, am, I use these tools for the sugar shakedown. Now, 
I do it a little bit differently. When we are doing better nutrition programs that we are selling, remember, you are our audience. You, the practitioner, and then whatever clients you want to bring in. So we have you purchase these tools. You do not need to have your program participants purchase these tools. In fact, I highly recommend that you do not do that. So when we ran the Sugar Shakedown, our program cost $189 because that's what somebody was uh, purchasing the um, set of tools for. Or when we ran the Digestive Tune-Up, it cost them $195 because they were getting that package of tools. When you run a program, you set your price for your program based on whatever it is you're offering. So for example, let's say that you decide your program, maybe you've never done a program before and you're just, it's like, hey, I just want to get started and I'm going to run, um, you like the idea of running the digestive tune-up and you're thinking, um, gosh, I'm nervous about running this program, but I've, I've seen that um, one, that Ashley's run it and I could actually purchase the program. So let me come over to that. Um, hang on for one second. Okay. So um, we offer that as a program. So when you purchase that program, you could not only get the tools that you're going to get as part of the package, but you would also be getting uh, a, a, um, all of the slides that I've used and you get the practitioner versions of the slides. So I have comments highlighted throughout the slides that explain what I would talk about or what you wanna be doing at that point, et cetera. So if you're just starting out and you would literally want a completely ready-made program done for you with the slides, then that's what this would be, right? If you're just deciding, if you said that, um, and of course you can get an add a coaching session with me if you wanna go through how I do it and walk through your slides and get some help on that part, I'm happy to be helpful because I I want you to have the best experience. This program is money because if you spend $325 once or if you add a coaching session with me, then you never have to spend that again. That You set the price for your program based on what you want to set the price of, not based on what our program pricing is. I hope that that makes sense. I'll come back to that and keep repeating that. So for example, while we charged $195 and the people who were participating, the practitioners, as well as some of the um, the uh, participants for the program who were clients, et cetera, who had maybe come in because they knew me and they know I've been doing this digestive tune-up quarterly for a long time, so they enjoy doing it with me now uh, online. Um, they got all of these tools. So what that means is you spend, in this case, if you don't own the shop of tools, you would spend $195 and you would get all these tools. But all you need are, if you're charging $100 for your program, you just need two clients in your program and you've already made the rev made back what you've charged for, get what you personally paid for getting the tools, right? So um, what I recommend is just thinking about your using the tools. Um, Michelle, I'm gonna come back to that in one second. Um, that uh, when you're using these tools in your program, what you want to do is think of them as part of the overall investment that you're charging for in your program, right? So if you're using this to set the pricing of your program, you can think, well, I spent $195. Maybe then you think, well, you know, I think the value of my time, like maybe I'm doing four one hour sessions live. So for every one hour session, that's going to be another hour. So that would be four hours. Then maybe it's going to take you two hours of prep work, but maybe you're really only going to factor in one hour because um, you're thinking like, okay, in the future, it's going to take, it's only going to take me the one hour of prep work or, you know, time reviewing what the clients are doing, a little bit of time in the Facebook group. All right. So maybe I'm at 10 hours of my time. And so, you know, these are the ways that you would figure out your pricing. Um, and there are obviously more extensive ways to figure out pricing. I feel like in the money mindset uh, Facebook group and also in Leslie Patel's Facebook, there are a bunch of different Facebook groups where I find great uh, pr program pricing conversations going on. But one of the things I always encourage you to do is set your price higher and then discount it. So one of the reasons that I love sharing these um, tools in here is that these are amazing referral generators, especially when you use them as programs or you explain them as programs and sessions to somebody who you would be referring, or trying to get referrals from. So for example, say that you know a local gastroenterologist and you wanna say, hey, I'm doing the digestive tune-up program. Now it says very clearly in the slides what a digestive tune-up is and what a digestive tune-up isn't. I highly recommend that you share that as part of your either conversation or your email, or maybe you do a quick video explaining it and you send it off to, to that uh, individual 
individual because you don't want them to think that like you're doing a 30 day digestive tune up and you're going to tell their patients that their digestion is fixed. But what you do want to say to them is, I would love to invite any of your patients that want to participate in the digestive tune-up. Um, so the, the people that I think would be great for this are the ones who maybe come to you um, feeling doing pretty well, but maybe they have some minor digestive complaints or somebody who's wondering about food allergies, intolerances, et cetera, I'd love to do the 30-day digestive tune-up, um, have them participate before we start doing other tests. Now, it's not an elimination diet. We're actually adding in a lot of things, and what we're doing is we're helping to repair the digestion during this time. So I just think that whatever tests and other things that you're gonna do for them 30 days later um, would be much more valuable uh, because, as we know, we've calmed some of the inflammation and irritation and some of that stuff, so I think you'll get better uh, results, you know, based on, and so you could go through it that way. Um, what I also think you could do with that gastroenterologist is explain, hey, I bet that you maybe have a 30 day, at least 30 days of a waiting time period where um, you, before you have available times to see maybe new patients. And so one of the things that somebody could recommend is they could send it to you, they could have the person participate in my digestive tune-up program, and they, I will review their digestive evaluation, and oh, by the way, and here's the big kicker from a referral standpoint, when you have someone fill out an evaluation in your program or a course, or if you're working one-on-one -on -one with them, Ask them if you have permission to share it with their healthcare practitioners and ask for the emails or the fax numbers of those healthcare practitioners and send it over with a note. So if you have the practitioner version, that's gonna be very easy for you to do the editable notes in there. If not, just put a cover letter or put a note with it and say, hey, this is the initial evaluation on this date that I received from your client. Here are the top things that come speak to me. Here's what I'm thinking of having them do. If they're participating in the digestive tune-up, here's what we are going to be doing week one, week two, week three, week four. Um, then we will be retesting. I will be sending you that digestive evaluation and so on. I promise you when you send that information about one client, you will get the attention of whoever it is, both the nurse in the office, the nurse practitioner in the office, um, the gastroenterologist, other people who are understanding that and will, will understand specifically how you are working differently as someone who's doing total nutrition assessment, especially beginning with that digestive evaluation. I'm going to pause for a moment and let any of my Shop of Tools owners know that if you want the practitioner versions of the um, digestive tune-up, you are welcome to email team at thebetternutritionprogram.com and we will send those over to you. We do not have the practitioner versions yet of the sugar shakedown because I'm working on those as I'm working through the sugar shakedown. Um, so usually uh, the rule of thumb is that they will be coming to you about two weeks after uh, any of the um, uh, programs are completed. If that doesn't work with your schedule and you want the incomplete version because you're trying to run it differently or whatever, I've dealt with that with some of our participants, um, feel free to email the team and we'll let you know you just won't be getting the, the final uh, practitioner versions. Uh, for anyone else, you would be purchasing that um, pro, you would go to the program section of our uh, uh, shop and you would purchase that program and you would get the slides uh, that way. Um, so Michelle asked and answered. The other thing we do send out, we do send them out by way of the, um, uh, we do send out the digestive tune-up slides and others by way of our Shop of Tools owners emails that you get every Thursday and always remember to check those because that's where we send potential referrals, that's where we send updated uh, tools, that's where we send announcements about upcoming programs because we only have 50 slots for each of these programs and we want our, our um, Shop of Tools owners to make sure that whoever they want to invite uh, gets in. Um, Yes, so the digestive tune-up slides come in the Shop of Tools as well. Exactly, great question. When you purchase the Shop of Tools, you get everything. Everything that we offer, time with me, the slides, everything behind the scenes, you get it all. That is our like that is the best way to make sure that you are getting everything and how to use it, you know, the behind the scenes on that part. If you wanted the slides and you're only purchasing a package, you would then have to purchase it uh, to get it. You would purchase it through the program section, um, which remember is up here under practitioner resources. You would click on better nutrition programs for practitioners and you would purchase uh, the digestive tune-up package there and get it that way. Um, okay, so 
Now, if there are no more questions, I'm going to go through what we include in each of these packages. And I'm actually going to show you the heart health one because I want to explain why it's going to be such a great marketing opportunity. Um, this was just it, what is included in our digestive tune-up and all the different tools that you can use. And it also takes you through... Um, uh, some of the information on how you would use it. So starting with the digestive evaluation, that's going to be your first one. Now, it's a bonus. To, I wrote as a bonus tool, the Better Digestive Tune-Up Guide. One of the things that you could do here is you could use that actually as a lead magnet. And as we go into the heart health, uh, I'm going to explain that further. All right. Moving over. Questions. So starting on... Um, Starting on February 19th for 21 days, so it's four sessions, 21 days, we are going to run the Heart Health, uh, Be Heart Healthy program. It's not about getting heart healthy because you have to stay heart healthy. And so what we want you to do is be heart healthy. And I thought that um, running it actually after Valentine's Day was great timing because if anyone wants to gift this, uh, that's also great if you want to run any promotions around. You know, maybe you want to do a giveaway if you're a shop of tool owner and you have five prospects that you want to sign up. You could do a giveaway. Maybe you want to have a couple go through it. Remember that heart disease is the leading killer of women, and I think it's the second or the third leading killer of men in this country. Um, that drives me absolutely, oh, it hurts me to the core because... Um, we, there is so much that better nutrition can do and better total nutrition can and should be doing. So with the Heart Health uh, program, we are going to use the Heart Health package. And remember, you can do this also for any individual uh, client that you want to work with as well. So the core of the, the program will be using the cholesterol and heart health evaluation. So um, what we are going to do, and the reason I call it a cholesterol is just we still are in this era of people wanting to know about their cholesterol, even though that we know cholesterol isn't the marker of heart health. It is not the primary marker of heart health. It's not the primary marker of risk um, of heart attacks. Over 50% of heart attacks occur in people with normal cholesterol. And that normal could be drug created, like where you're on statins, or it could just be normal on that part. Um, so it's really, really important um, uh, you know, in terms of uh, communicating that part, that it's not just about cholesterol, but we wanted people to know that that's why what this evaluation would be about. So um, you will see that uh, in this evaluation, we're going to go over specific foods. Um, we want to understand, are you getting in your greens? Are you getting in your starchy vegetables? We'll come back to why on that part. What about plant nitrates? So one of the really fun things that we're going to be talking about and, and that I highly, highly recommend as part of any of your programs and also when you're marketing marketing your services is that you are going to be debunking a lot of the myths that are out there. Like there are whole articles on why nitrates and nitrites are so bad for you. Um, but plant nitrates are actually super heart healthy and we need to understand those and understand where we get them from. So what we actually have to do is work on the lexicon of better heart health nutrition. Um, we all have to be speaking the same language. And so that's actually going to be a starting point where we make sure that we you know, understand those things. The benefits of fruits. We are, of course, going to talk about sugar and the role of one of the reasons I went from the digestive tune-up to the sugar shakedown to heart health is that you can't have any health outcome without better digestion. So uh, if anyone's having digestive issues, we've got to work on that first. And in fact, um, in my case study that we have on YouTube about overall heart health, uh, we are, we, I go through how I actually do a 30-day digestive tune-up before I start working on somebody's um, cholesterol and changing their supplements and changing their food and working on their total nutrition program because you've got to have that better digestion. But we also have to do a better job of educating on the role of added sugar um, and sugars in general as it relates to heart health um, and even how it factors into cholesterol, right, in terms of triglycerides. Uh, it helps understand a lot of times why we'll have vegans or people who are, are primarily plant-based um, but maybe not plant monogamous where they are uh, seeing elevated cholesterol um, because maybe they are not working on their sugar and maybe they're eating things that are highly refined and that are just plant uh, on that part. Um, so we will be going through all of that as part of um, this program. And so that's why we start off with this particular evaluation. So one of the things that you could do if you're looking to generate referrals and have people participate in this heart health program is you could actually share the cholesterol and heart health evaluation. You could take a photo of it. You could share it by email with a doctor and say, hey, I am actually going to use this particular tool 
Um, I don't recommend attaching it because then they can just go off and use it. So that's where I recommend doing screen grabs. Um, it's kind of up to you in terms of, you know, or you could do a PDF of the tool and, and send it, but not an editable PDF, right? Um, most, I think, practitioners are going to be like, I'd rather just send it to the person that's using it. But, you know, that, that's totally up to you on that part. Um, and you could send it and you could say, so the cornerstone of the program, we're going to start off with doing this assessment and then I'm going to repeat that assessment. So we will have this assessment for you and I will share it with you as your client is going through the program. And maybe, um, you know, if you've spent $180 or maybe you've invested in the shop of tools, remember, you just focus on that as your investment. Maybe what you want to do is if you're charging $180 for the 21 day program or maybe you're charging $70 for the 21 day program. Um, um, maybe what you want to do is offer that practitioner a discount um, to allow your client to come in for, you know, to allow their patient referral to come in for at a lower price because that will encourage them to also uh, generate a referral. So I want to pause there on that pricing point. Um, one of the questions that I've received is if you purchase the shop of tools and you are inviting five prospects or clients, um, or you're inviting your uh, coworkers, but let's stick with uh, prospects and clients for a moment. Um, if you invite them in, they are getting access for free. Yes, but that is only between us. That doesn't mean that you can't charge them. You are going to be working with these clients. You are coaching them through this program. So if you feel confident, you can also charge them, and that's a way that you can even recoup some of your costs, right? So for example, we have someone who's going through the sugar shakedown right now who is charging her clients. Uh, I said, I don't need to know what you're charging them. She's charging the five clients that she's coaching a fee, but that she got them access to my program for free. Um, and that's because of what she invested. And that's totally fine. That billing and that charge and the time that you spend with them, you go through all of that on your own. I have somebody else who is literally just taking the video and replaying it on a different night and going going through it with their, their particular clients. And so they didn't invite their clients into our Facebook group and she's charging them. So there are definitely different ways that you can do this in terms of your finances. And a lot of it just comes up to, comes down to your comfort level with running somebody through a program that you haven't yet participated in. Once you've participated in the program, please, by all means, run the program uh, and charge as much as you want, um, you know, and, and do different things on that part. Okay. So these packages, the way that you can use this package is this is a ready-made program. This is a ready-made client consult uh, and a roadmap, um, not just for one consult, but for multiple consults. So one of the things that I often hear is that it's very difficult to get clients to come back. Well, we should share the blame for that, for them not coming back. And one of those reasons is as practitioners, we are extremely well intentioned, but we often do. And I did this for like the first five years of my practice where I share everything. Like in, I give it all out in that first session and I don't give them a roadmap. And there are two things there. One, I haven't gotten them to return, but more importantly, by not giving them a roadmap and by not limiting what I'm asking them to do and to commit to in one session before the next session, I actually am decreasing the likelihood that they are going to make the changes at the time and the pace that they need to, and that we're going to get the feedback so that we can work, I like to use the word iter er, iteratively, so that we can work iteratively to take them and, and keep moving them forward. So one of the reasons that I set up these packages is to give you an idea, some different ideas of how you could structure things. So for example, say that somebody does the cholesterol and heart evaluation, um, either you they sign up for our program and they do it before they come into the program. Um, then what you might do at that point is you might see on there uh, that they have a, a lot of family history stuff going on. Well, if somebody has family history stuff going, on, I want a lipoprotein A test done. If it has not been done, I want it done. That's your widow maker. That's that lipoprotein that we need to know. And that we also know that somebody who has um, a high lipoprotein A, they will not respond to the same cholesterol lowering interventions, to the same protocols that's, that somebody else who doesn't have that elevated. So there's a genetic component and there's an environmental component. So that might be my first next step with them, right? Now for somebody else, else, my first next step with them is I might want to say I'm seeing what they're eating 
and I'm saying, hmm, I'd love to dive into helping you make some more heart healthy choices. And so let's go through our heart healthy menu and see what you like on this menu. And let's have you commit to incorporating in four or five of these, right? Um, based on maybe it's, um, maybe they've been uh, avoiding, they have been avoiding fruit, right? And we're incorporating in fruit, or maybe we're, we want to have them shift um, and inc to incorporate some spices instead of using uh, sugary sauces or salty sauces, right? Now for somebody else, there might be their sodium and potassium. And so what I might wanna do is the second step is have a conversation and say to them, hey, when, when I see you at the next session, we're gonna go through your sodium and your potassium intake. Um, and so before that, what I'd like you to do is just to fill out this potassium, menu, uh, the potassium evaluation. And then next time we're gonna talk about your results and also go through the menu, et cetera. So you can see where this helps me develop a roadmap based on, remember this has to be personal it's 2020, it's the decade of personalization, but these are how we can keep using the tools. Um, I also like to give dates in between, and if you're using an EHR, like a healthy or a practice better or a simple practice, um, it's super easy to, set, to message them and to reattach the potassium evaluation or um, to message them a note and say, hey, it's Wednesday, remember today's the deadline for your potassium evaluation, send it over to me. Uh, and if not, then just use your own system for you know, noting when you're going to follow up with them and how you're going to follow up to hold them accountable uh, to their deadlines um, uh, and the agreements that you've created. Now in our program, what I will do is I'll actually use these to create different sections um, and topics that I'm going to talk about. Um, so I'm going to have a conversation about sodium and potassium and minerals in general, because calcium and magnesium is really important. And that's gonna be something that we're going to talk about, right? I'm going to talk about sugar at one point. I'm going to talk about um, uh, all the, the confusion around fats at another point. And I'm definitely gonna talk about dietary supplements as an overarching conversation here because if there are gaps in your nutrition, I want to meet those gap in your food and your beverage nutrition. I want to meet those uh, with dietary supplements so that your total nutrition is heart healthy. And so that's how I'll use th this package um, to go ahead and set up a program on that part. Um, now, one of the other things when we're talking marketing that's really beneficial is you can use any of these tools as lead magnets to get somebody into the program, whether it's the program that you're inviting them into that I'm running, or it's the program that you're doing. So for example, you could, starting right now, you could say, hey, I want to invite you into a program that's going to start on uh, February 19th. It's the Be Heart Healthy program. You'll start to see, you know, we're posting about it, et cetera. If you follow us on social media, you can reshare our posts. Um, you can create your own image. If you have any questions, you can email team at the better nutrition program.com we can share an image with you and what you can do at that point is you could share hey it's are you worried about your heart health um, because someone in your family or you have a family history of heart disease um, well worrying and stress is actually not heart healthy I want to help you be heart healthy I'm going to share a guide with you um, if you want to send me your email and then I'll share a little bit more about a program that I'm participating in and I want to invite you to join either for free or but you know whatever it is and you can send all of that in the email and then you could share the lipoprotein a guide with them right you have it you can share it with them for free Another thing that you could do is you could take some of the items off of the potassium menu. Heck, you could do a video about creating a couple of those. You know, you could hide, or you could take a, a photo for Instagram of a meal that's particularly um, potassium rich, and you could share that and say, "Hey, if you're interested in learning more about um, how to get potassium from your food, because we don't really want to get potassium from our supplements, um, and how it's difficult to reach that 2,000 milligrams on a on a daily basis, um, actually 3,000. Sorry." Um, how to, I keep remembering it changed and then I was thinking sodium. Anyway, to get that 3000 in, um, I have a menu that will show you how to do that and I want to share that with you and then you also use that to invite them into the program. And likewise, you can use that with referrals. So for example, if you know, um, uh, if you're a fitness uh, professional at a gym, uh, at a facility and you're working with, um, you know that somebody is, uh, has mentioned to you that they have heart stuff or whatever, you could say to them, hey, maybe you want to send, share this with your doctor and let him know that you're going to participate in this program that I'm doing 
and when you let him know or her know, um, you can share this uh, potassium menu as a tool that they can share and you can add your information to it um, so that they, uh, um, you can share this and that that's a way to generate referrals. So I'm a really big fan of using um, the tools for every ounce of and dollar that you put into purchasing them. So please use them for marketing as well as in the running of programs. All right. So just to recap on everything, we have 17 different packages at the Better Nutrition Program. They are available here. Um, if, you have, if you purchase the shop of Better Nutrition Assessment Tools, not only do you get all of that content, you get over 100 tools, you get access to all of our programs, you get behind the scene coaching, you get all of the slides, you get everything from us, right? Um, and you also get me, you get time with me uh, as well. In addition to the time here, you get personal time with me. Um, if you are wanting to just purchase a program that's actually happened already that you um, did not participate in, you can go to the programs there. We'll be talking more about that in another uh, office hour um, later this month. And then we have the packages. And the packages we have um, over, we have 17 of them, 18 if you count our DIY. They include a variety of different tools. They run a, a gamut of price range. Our athlete one is very expensive because for somebody who's working with athletes, you've got to assess every area of their total nutrition because there's so much uh, that's going in there. So we have a lot of our different evaluations there. I always say to somebody, if you're getting the athlete evaluation, get the shop of tools and just talk to us about the payment plan because it's 500 bucks a month and for over the course of three months. So you could do it that way. Um, and if you don't know where to start, consider starting with our starter package. Um, that's a great one. Uh, you know, if you're working with kids, we've got a kids package on here. Um, just to tease out, somebody was asking about the schedule after we do heart health. I believe we're doing um, inflammation and then we're going into detox, um, uh, the clean me up. But we may, be, we may be doing the detox and the inflammation in inverse. So I will get that for, that's for Marla. I will get that schedule uh, coming up for you. And when you purchase a package of tools, you can use those unlimited. You don't get any updates of them or anything else from the program, but you can use those tools for as long as you have them um, and you can use them for your marketing. The only thing that you can't do with any of our tools is you can't sell them. If you're interested in um, promoting the tools for sale to other practitioners, then you should uh, check out our affiliate program, which is you'd scroll to the bottom of uh, the page and we've got our affiliate program information uh, down here. And remember, we have our provider network, which is where we send people if anybody's interested in um, working with a practitioner. If, if a, an individual comes over here, then they go over to our um, practitioner network, which if you purchase a package, you get access to, the pro to being able to provide an application, to share an application for the provider network. All right, woo! Lots from me today, so I'm going to close us out of here. I'm going to pop back over. Hi, everyone. Back from vacation, and I am in it. So, um, uh, and I'm actually going to exercise, as you can tell. Anyway, um, I wanted to just uh, take a moment to, first of all, thank you for spending the 45 minutes uh, with me going through all of that. Um, did I answer your questions? Do we still have some more questions uh, that are coming up? Um, does anyone need any help with a client this week or any, anything going on in the news or anything else like that that you uh, want to discuss? Um, uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about the big supplement recall that the FDA did, so I've been doing some interviews and some conversations on that. Um, it's a lot of stuff going on. Um, but otherwise, uh, I will gift you back uh, 16 minutes of your own time and um, say goodbye to you for this week's office hours. But I do want to hang out here for a moment in case anybody has any questions. Remember, if you don't feel comfortable asking me a question in this forum, totally get it, no problem. You can send it stealth uh, to us at team at the program.com and just submit it for uh, me to um, go over in this session. I also love going over uh, case studies. So if you're wondering or you're asking about something with uh, clients or you're wondering how could I work with a particular client, uh, go ahead and send that one over. Um, and Gayatri, did I, do, am I pronouncing that? Gayatri, Gayatri, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it correctly. Gayatri, I sent you an email. So hopefully um, we've cleared everything up there and I'm so excited to have you on board um, and have you part of these programs. 
And a final piece, ladies and gentlemen, if there is a package that does not exist that you think should exist, um, or a program, a content, you know, or a topic or whatever, please, I look to you all um, uh, to know about that as well. Somebody was just asking us last week about the um, uh, Gaia Trey. Oh, I love, oh, Gaia Tree, Gaia Three, Gaia Three. Oh, I love it. I learned. All right, my dear. Wonderful. Gaia 3. Um, Gaia 3. Okay, I got it. Um, and uh, so uh, somebody was asking us because they loved, if you haven't gone over to our YouTube yet and watched the webinar with uh, Dr. Ronnie Bonick on eye nutrition and total eye nutrition, oh my gosh, head there bookmark it. Um, I, you know, it's like, even if you're at the beach, you're going to want to watch this one. Right. Um, but somebody was asking about, they said, Oh, do you have any package that includes the, the eye, um, nutrition assessment? I said, Oh, you bet I do. It's in the hormone health the she's got it package. And the reason that I put it in there is 70% of women as they go through menopause. So perimenopause complain of dry eyes. And as Dr. Roddy Bonick told us, not only is that a, uh, something that we want to look at, it's something we should be looking at um, uh, we, we should be looking at in terms of overall health um, on that part and thinking about how we can help our clients. So you guys and gals, all of us should be helping perimenopausal women avoid, you know, just sticking uh, droppers in there or putting just putting on the goggles and realizing that there are uh, nutrition things that we want to be doing because dryness is what's going on in the rest of the body. It makes sense that it, you know, it's occurring in the eye. Um, I think that we'll probably also at some point add the eye evaluation back in, into the, um, uh, sweet success package. I, I'm nervous to do it because I don't want to keep increasing the price of these packages, but at the same time, so if I was running the sweet success again, I would probably want to include the eye evaluation in there. Or if you're participating in the sugar shakedown, you might want to, as a follow up, as a lead magnet opportunity, uh, you might want to um, talk to somebody that you've referred or brought into the program and say to them um, that. Uh, you would recommend uh, doing a next session with you around their eye nutrition um, because it's about eye and brain health and you have a way to assess that and would want to work on that part because uh, as she talked about in that webinar, your eye health is so closely related um, also to uh, diabetes and sugar intake and prediabetes and hormones and as we know, it's all related. All right, everyone, uh, have an incredible day. Michelle, definitely um, looking forward to when the stress program is offered. And uh, maybe you want to shoot me an email, and that might be something that we want to collaborate on because I could see that um, some of your areas of expertise could be added into that. Remember, in our programs, we don't just talk about food, supplements, nutrition that way. We also like to talk about things like breathing, um, exposure to, you know, whether it's blue light, you know, dealing with all of these other things. Um, and I'm getting the nudge from Rerun My dog saying, it's time, it's time, time to go to the dog park. So um, I will close out a lot of good conversations going on here. Thank you so much for joining. And again, if you caught me at a time that's better for you and you have any questions, go ahead and send them on over and we will get them answered and uh, find the right uh, tools for you, the right way to um, continue to uh, improve outcomes and grow your business using total nutrition assessment. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good one.